Hi guys, what's going on? This is Ivan from Ancient Library. Um, finally home after a mini tour through Croatia where I visited, as you could have seen in my previous videos on, on the page, I visited the smallest town on earth, Pum, in Croatia, Istria. I did a tour where I visited a couple of castles, uh, fortresses. I was in Dalmatia. It was a little tour of a couple of days. Um, in the future, I will be exploring some of the more interesting places in, in Croatia and in, and in Europe. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I also wanted to let you guys know that we finally opened our YouTube channel. <clears throat> Something we should have probably done sooner, but um, it's better late than never. Um, and a couple of projects are coming up for Ancient Library. Uh, one of the most important ones is that we're going to be opening, starting a podcast. Um, so make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, the link is going to be posted in, in the description of, of this video. Make sure to follow us there because a lot of good things are going to be happening between our newly opened YouTube uh, page and, and uh, Ancient Library on Facebook where we have 1.5 million followers. Um, I wanted to also take uh, this opportunity to start um, working on videos where I'll be discussing ancient artifacts, civilizations, ancient places, mythologies, history, and stuff like that. So today I wanted to kick off with one of my favorite artifacts um, uh, that, that I've been researching for, for, for a couple of years now. It's called the Antikythera Mechanism, and it is an ancient mechanical device, and it is considered one of the most remarkable archaeological discoveries of the 20th century. Um, this, this, this device, which many people refer to as the first computer, was discovered in 1901 by, I think, what uh, was a group of sponge divers near the Greek island of Antikythera. So this artifact, which was, which was identified by the divers as a lump of bronze and wood, uh, was discovered inside a shipwreck, which is believed to have uh, <clears throat> sunk around the first century BC. And the artifact itself is believed to date back between, I think, 100 and 150 BC. So it's a pretty, pretty advanced, advanced and uh, sophisticated device, and it is one of a kind. There's nothing elsewhere out there that, that even resembles it remotely in terms of its age and sophistication. So, while this shipwreck uh, yielded a plethora of valuable artifacts, including uh, different statues, pottery, and other items, uh, the true significance of the Antikythera mechanism was not immediately apparent because there were so many, um, um, you know, stuff there inside the shipwreck. So, the device, which initially appeared to be nothing more than corroded bronze and wood, uh, remained sitting there. And decades later, after we developed better x-ray techniques and imaging technology, uh, scientists were able to understand its true purpose and, and intricate nature. So, uh, the Antikythera mechanism was turned out to be a sophisticated analog computer, and it is capable, or was capable, of tracking celestial movements and performing various astronomical calculations. So, I mean, something that's so old, uh, so sophisticated, is this. This, this is what, what some authors would probably um, <clears throat> refer to as an out-of-place artifact because, you know, it's unique, it's, it's strange that it's so advanced. In fact, over a thousand years or a thousand four hundred years passed after the discovery of the Antikythera mechanism that humankind would create something that resembled it. So... It was so advanced and so ahead of its time that, you know, it was, it was, it was mind-boggling. Uh, the mechanism itself consists of a series of interlocking gears and dials, uh, which were housed in a wooden box, roughly the size of a um, shoe box, a little bit bigger perhaps. Um, its purpose was to predict astronomical positions and events such as the position of the sun, uh, the planet, planets, the moon, uh, and even solar and lunar eclipses. Um, and authors and researchers concluded that it was also able to calculate the timing of the Olympic Games and as we all know the Olympic Games were of great culture and social importance in, in ancient Greece. Um, so we can probably say that the Antikythera mechanism is an astonishing feat of engineering and craftsmanship. Um, its precise gears and calibrated dials allowed uh, for its user to accurately predict uh, celestial events 
uh, demonstrating a deep understanding of astronomy and math mathematics in, in ancient times. Um, the level of technical sophistication exhibited by this mechanism was really, as I said uh, before, unparalleled for, for over uh, 1,400 years um, when, when people in, in, in Europe would start crafting and building similar mechanisms. <clears throat> so this is it's just incredible. Um, but it's also, the mechanism is also shrouded in mystery. For example, the exact origin of the Antikythera mechanism remain a mystery to this day. It is widely believed that the, there's no evidence, like direct evidence, but it's, it is widely believed that uh, it was created uh, in the city of Rhodes, um, but there's no like written evidence to support this. In fact, um, there are no written records that mention this device whatsoever anywhere. At least, at least that we haven't found. So this 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 gives it a, a, a little bit of, of, of mystery. Um, but the the mechanism itself showcases that the ancient Greeks uh, possessed advanced knowledge of astronomy, and they had a great desire to understand and predict the movements of the heavens. Um, so the significance of the Antikythera mechanism extends beyond its technological marvel. It's, what's most important is that its discovery challenges the commonly held perception that ancient civilizations were technologically primitive. They were not, as we can see by this, this artifact. Um, and it also serves as a reminder of the ingenuity and intellectual capabilities of past societies and their ability to develop complex and sophisticated devices. And if you guys want to check out the a reconstructed Antikythera mechanism, it is housed at the National Archaeological Museum of Athens in Greece where it is displayed alongside other ancient artifacts. However, nothing similar to it has ever been found. It's unique. Uh, what, what experts believe divers have found are like fragments of gears that may have belonged to other Antikythera mechanisms, but so far we haven't found any second one. So, um, it's likely, you know, ancient, ancient, uh, ancient, uh, engineers of, of, of that time likely built more than just one Antikythera mechanism or whatever they called it back in the day um, but we haven't found it yet so um, this this gives it this aura of, of mystery and it's what makes it so I guess awesome um, uh, anyway researchers continue to study and decipher its mechanism we continue to learn new stuff the more we research it um, and the more we research it, the more we are faced with um, this this notion that you know our ancestors were pretty 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 advanced, and like objects such as such as this one is, is complete evidence of that. And it makes me wonder what other similar artifacts may have been created thousands of years ago that we haven't yet discovered not just in Europe, uh, in the Mediterranean, but all over the world, where it's Amer America, Asia, Africa, whatever. It, it makes you, you know, question how much stuff have we still not uncovered? Like, there has to be so much stuff down there in the ocean, um, in lakes, in rivers, whatever, um, beneath the sand, beneath the, you know, beneath our feet that, that that's still waiting to be discovered. Um, <clears throat> so, the Antikythera mechanism is just proof of how advanced these these cultures were and it also I guess attests of how little we credit these ancient societies I mean they deserve much more credit uh, because they were smart they were sophisticated and they were advanced so uh, the Antikythera mechanism is definitely an out-of-place artifact and it definitely deserves uh, more more respect so um, I just wanted to also let you know that I wrote a really, really interesting article about the Antikythera mechanism. It's called the 10, 10 facts about it. Uh, it's, it's, I wrote it for Curiosmos. I'm going to post the link into the description of this video in case you guys want to check it out. And uh, this, is, this is one of the many videos I will be creating, producing um, in the near future. This is one of the very first, so if there are like mistakes or, or, or errors or whatever in the video, please um, uh, excuse me for that. I will learn from my mistakes and if you guys have tips or, or like, you know, 
things that, that, that can improve my my recording, please let me know. I all all, all positive <laughs> criticism is, is welcome. So um, thank you, thank you for watching, um, and stay tuned for for more uh, videos in the near future. And make sure to subscribe and follow us on uh, YouTube. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.